Hey, this is Ron KC Zero QVT coming at you from Hamvention 2024. We got the rare treat of meeting the man behind the curtain, Mr. Glenn of RadioID.net. What's your call sign, Glenn? Uh, Victor Echo 9 Golf Lima November. Okay, so Glenn is responsible for, well, I don't know if you're responsible or not, but anyway, he's the guy that manages RadioID.net. This is the telephone book, if you will, for anybody that wants to get into DMR. You got to go to RadioID.net, get you a free DMR ID, and this is your next step in the journey to getting on DMR is to go get your telephone number, if you will. So I got Glenn here. What's happening with RadioID.net? This train is not slowing down. What's going on? No, it isn't. It's actually pretty steady, I guess. I mean, I've been looking at the numbers the other day and it's actually just as good now as it was like two years ago. when we- It's insane. It is insane. It's, I don't know where they're all coming from. Yeah, no, Radio ID is just, we're just going along doing our thing. There's going to be a new web UI in about six months. I'm just working on it now. A bunch of new features coming. The biggest one will be for, for the users are going to be identities. What do you mean identity? Well, so right now you have an account, but your account's under your call sign, right? So your account's going to be made just you as a person. So if you have a call sign here and say one in Spain, right now you have to have two accounts. So I'm merging that. So you're going to have an identity is what it's going to be called. So you will have an account for Ron, but then you'll have an identity for your call sign in U.S., one Spain, say one in Canada maybe. I don't know. And we're going to be doing that. And also on the repeater side, right now we don't really do trustees. As in like, if you have a repeater, you own it. But if you want to manage it with, say, Boston, you can't, right? You manage it. So I'm going to open that up so he'll be able to come in and manage your repeater. You'll manage his as long as you're willing to share that information. So right RadioID.net not only manages DMR IDs, but you've got repeater IDs, as you said, for DMR repeators. You've got NXDN. NXDN, and uh, everybody uses the DMR IDs for P25 as well. Okay, so totally for ham radio people. Yeah. And so, like I was saying earlier, this thing is not slowing down. In fact, I looked last week, and there were over 500 DMR IDs issued in one week, and that's been pretty consistent now for, like you said, about two years. So, it's just a phenomenal database. There's like over 250,000 hams that have joined up and gotten on into DMR and I don't know it's just incredible what's going on so how big of a team do you have working on this project coding wise it's just me so I do all the all the coding and administration in the back end I have a couple of what I call master admins I got to come up with a better name than that there are a couple of key people who who help me out at a higher level but then I have I think the last time I counted was 34 admins globally 34 volunteers working on this project it's got a lot of oomph behind it a lot of dedicated folks yeah it does and it takes that team to actually keep it intact. We go through, I think it's 50,000 emails every month for between support and license allocations. Okay, so let's review what has to happen. So you've got your ham radio license. So Glenn, what takes place from the moment you apply? Or well, first of all, you have to apply register, correct? So you let's just register. walk through the process. Yep. If you want to get a DMR ID, you got to do the following. Right. So you go on to radioid.net slash register. You register, you fill in all your information. And then when you create your account, there's actually a spot there for you to upload your license. So it's very important that we get your actual U.S. In this case, I'll concentrate on U.S., but your official copy, nothing else. It's got to say official copy across it, or we're going to reject it. That's big there, guys. And we can help you do that, by the way. That's not very hard. We have a link on our website in the process to go to the FCC's website to download your official copy, because if you are a licensed AM in the United States, there is a record of your license that you can retrieve. And so you do what with that then? Then you upload it to our site, and at that point, it comes into a pending queue for the admins. So for the U.S., there's one, two, three, four, five of us that will look at that and make sure all the information is correct. We will modify the information if you forgot to put your state or county. We'll fix it up for you. Very important for us too for the county because for the contact generator you can create contact list by county so it helps if you put your proper county in. Basically what happens is the min looks at it, approves it, it goes back in the system and then about a minute later the system grabs it, assigns an ID and sends you an email. How long does that take? If right now if I was looking on the screen and somebody came in I could do it, pop it back out, you can have an ID within five minutes. So very quick if somebody's watching and mining the website and you get a ping of sorts that says, hey, somebody just applied? It depends. Some admins set up a notification for when new licenses come in. Some don't. For me, I'm pretty much sitting on there all day anyway. So I see them come through quite a lot. Okay, so you, you notify somebody that DMR ID was approved. It's yep. been issued that they will get an email. Is that right? An email and then they just need to log back in. And then when they log in, the site will look 
different because the first time they're in, they're doing account profile. But when they're approved, they log in, they go to their dashboard. Once they're on their dashboard, then you can see all your digital IDs there. So you'll go from step by step by step to make it easier for people. And if you leave and come back, you'll come back to that same step. And part of that step will be validating that you're at, we can actually talk to you with an email address. So you do some kind of like two-step verification on emails? Yeah, I'll send you a code and you come back and put it in. Perfect. All right. Well, cool. You're doing a great job. We love it. We love working with you. I mean, we're keeping you covered up. I tell everybody, go get a free DMR ID at radioid.net. Glenn is the guy handling all this. He's the guy that helps you get your DMR ID. And this is your phone number. You cannot get on these networks like Brandmeister, TGIF. I mean, all these networks, they use your DMR ID. They use our database and they use them for whitelisting too. So yeah, so especially Brandmeister, you cannot transmit on a Brandmeister network without a DMR ID. Yeah. So get it. Go to radioid.net. I know I'm saying it a lot, but this is the way to get, and you can get one of these DMR radios. We support them. We support Glenn and his team. And it's great to see him here at Hamvention 2024. It's awesome, Glenn. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ron. You too. Yeah. 7-3.